Okay, everybody, enough students have asked me about adding a soundtrack to their video that I'm going to show you one way to do it. We just need to get a song imported into our project and then placed on this audio one track. We'll also shorten it to however long our video is. Right now, we don't have the credits yet, so we need to have at least a minute or so of music. Now, where can you get music? I do have a place that you can see here on Data Tech Studio. So let me find, uh, there it is. So under useful resources, if you just click on it, or you can go here to royalty free music, I do have a link here to Ben Sound. So this is a website where they do have a lot of music that has this download button. You do have to be able to download the actual MP3. And we're looking for royalty free music right here on the website. These are the most popular songs. So I would say probably don't pick one from this first page because a lot of other people will probably pick it as well. And we don't want to go all the way to the end here either because there's not a lot of them for download. These are going to be for purchase, popular but purchased. So try not to do like anything too creepy or anything like that. I'm going to listen to this really quick. I'm just looking for something that's going to be long enough. This is something you need to do on your own time. I don't want you using class time to find the song. You would just use class time to add it to Premiere. So I'll just use this just to provide an example. We are downloading. As long as we thank bensound.com in our credits, we're okay to use this with attribution. So that just put the file in our uh, downloads folder. And we need to get that to our project folder. So I'm dragging it to documents and just hovering over these while I hold down the button and putting it in my favorite assets. And now I've got this song right here. So let's import that file, import. And I can see that I'm in my favorite assets and there's the asset. That's the sound file has a little waveform that's kind of the shape of the sound. And when I put it on here, you can see that waveform. I do want to point out that you can make that track bigger. And you can see that it's really uh, very loud. It's hitting at the top the whole time. I want you to normalize this so that everybody's song is the same audio level. So I'm going to right click on the track and go to my audio gain. And you can see that if I normalize all the peaks to zero, if everybody do, does this, then everybody will have about the same volume. In this case, we need to, it's going to lower it by 2.1 decibels. Sometimes it's going to increase it. And we want to do that to all of those peaks there. If I hit play on here, you can see the audio track over here on the right. And it's not going over zero now, whereas it used to. So now we just need to shorten it. And to do that, we can just grab the end and bring it over here. Now it's going to end very abruptly, just like I don't have a cross dissolve on this last picture yet. Um, I do want the song to not just stop. The way to do that is here under effects. So there are only a couple of audio transitions as opposed to all the video styles. We want the constant gain. And we're just going to drag and drop it on the end of our song. And now it's going to fade away. I usually like to make this um, longer. So you can actually click on it. And in the effect controls, you can see it. If I move that out of the way, I can grab a handle and just make it last for a couple seconds. Another trick I use, have the song last a little bit longer than the picture. It just gives it a nice effect where the picture fades away and then the music fades away. 